Welcome to our brand new series called Mutt Ventures. Now you may be asking, what is Mutt Ventures? Let me explain it to you. So I'm going to be starting off with this team. So I'm basically going to be playing Madden Ultimate Team. And you're going to follow me for the first two head-to-head -head seasons. I thought it would be pretty cool since I'm not really a Mutt player and I'm just now getting back into things. However, let's get right into the episode and meet our starting team. Now, if you can look up in the top right corner, we are a 68 overall. The team is full of silvers. These aren't bronze. So I think the silver are the new bronze however we did do some challenges and got the 78 overall joe burrow and i'm not going to complain that's my boy joe burrow but the fun thing about this first episode is that we get to open up some packs in order to start our team out now there's this nfl opt-in pack which i'm not really sure what it is but let's just go ahead and open it up i'm liking the animations this year and we get a game day pack all right bet i think this is like a pro fantasy pack if i'm not mistaken so we do actually get a 76 overall starting running back can i Nguago, whatever, I don't even know how to say it. What is our guy? Oh, Jerry Jacobs, 72 overall. Nico Collins, 76. Come on, let's get an elite or something. I don't even know how to say that. Calhoun, something, 72 overall. TJ Slayton Jr., defensive tackle, and their last one is going to be a hey, 78 overall DJ Chark. Not a bad first pack. Really expecting nothing big. However, we do get some weapons. But now let's head over to the starter team pack. I am so pumped. Let's go. What is this going to be? Oh, it's just the tips. What? Okay. Well, let's just quick sell this. Whatever. Now, I do want to open up this Madden strategy item. Uh, not really sure what it is or what the strategies are. Playmaker, plus one catching, plus one catch in traffic, and plus one spectacular catch. Seems pretty solid going to our wide receivers. Plus one man coverage. Oh, I might have to pick this cornerback, dude. Wide receiver would be really nice, but I think... But I've been playing some of these solos, and some of those corners are sticky. And that's exactly how I want my corners to play. Now let's make our way over to this Elite Headliners Player Pack. Open it up, come on, let's see what we can get. I think I already know what I'm going to be picking, but look at that animation. That is a nice animation, but um, come on guys. If you think I'm picking anything other than this Caleb Farley, then you're mistaken, because this guy has like 87 speed, and he's gonna be a lockdown. Well, I don't know about lockdown, but at least he's gonna be able to keep up with some wide receivers. The next pack I wanna do is this Choose Two Elite Players pack. And I know what I'm choosing in this one. I think I'm going to I'm going to go with this right end Montez Sweat. Pass rush seems like it's a big deal in Men 23. So why not grab ourselves a nice end? And in the second round, what are we gonna choose? Oh, I'm gonna make it a little hard for you guys. You guys gotta guess it. But I'm going to go with this wide receiver, Jalen Waddle. Come on now, we just need another wide receiver. I don't think a running back's gonna last us too long and a quarterback, eh, I don't know. Let's go with Jalen Waddle, bro. And then we want to go over to this team captain's fantasy pack. So let's open up one of these things. Keyshawn Johnson, Larry Zonka. What is this one? Sam Adams. And the final one is Eric Allen. Yo, I thought long and hard. I'm going to get this defensive tackle, Sam Adams, because bro, this guy looks like an absolute beast. Let's go and open up this All Madden's Team Elite Player Pack. And I've got two players in mind, but let's take a look at this animation. Looks pretty nice. Cooper Cup, not a bad pick, but um, you know what? It's between these two, Micah Parsons and Cam Chancellor. This Cam is very intriguing. At first, I thought I was going to choose him, but... I'm thinking I'm just going to go with this Michael Parsons. Dude just looks like a beast, and he could play sub-linebacker for us. He can also rush the passer really well, but I think this is going to be our pick. So let's go with Micah freaking Parsons. And finally, we have our rookie premieres. EA said that I only had 14 tokens, so I couldn't use my last one, which I have 15. That kind of makes me mad because, you know, I have 15, and they only gave me 14 right now. But, you know what, EA, trash, whatever. Let's open it up. Let's see what we can get in this one. Is this going to be the random one? Ooh, I like that animation. This might be the random one, or this one's going to contain all of them. All right. Okay, okay. Damn, okay. I made a mistake by opening up this one. But I think I know the cards that I really want. I feel like we cannot pass up on this Taekwon Thornton card. Dude has insane speed. And if we want to get a couple dubs, we need speed. So let's go ahead and take him. Lock him up for sure. Now for our second card, I have in mind, I want to take a secondary player. And I've been watching a couple videos and a couple streams. And I for sure want to get Kyer Elam. Now this guy looks like an absolute beast. So let's go ahead and take him. Because we're not guaranteed in the other packs. But here we go. We got this fantasy pack. But here we go, we got this fantasy pack, and I think this one is going to give us the 10 random cards. Or maybe it's not. Maybe we get to choose every single card. I thought it was going to give us like 10 random ones, but okay, never mind. I'm not going to complain. 
You know, I've been thinking, dude, the pass rush in Madden 23 is actually pretty insane. So why not get a tackle in Ikema Kwanu, who can surely hold his own against the defensive line? And you know what, guys? You might think I'm crazy for this. But I actually want to go and take this Jordan Davis defensive tackle because I want this D-line to be crazy good and a good push in the interior of the defensive line especially because I'm going to have him and Sam Adams and then Montez Sweat coming off the edge. So I think this has got to be the move. It's not the sexiest pick taking an offensive lineman and a defensive lineman. But hey, in the long run, I think this is going to work out. Now, taking a look at our team, we are at a 76 overall. And these were our improvements. Now, we do have four wide receivers. This Tyquan Thornton. 83 overall Jalen Waddle, you know, etc. Offensive line needs work. We do need another tight end. A better running back wouldn't be that bad, obviously. Then if we go over to the defense, yo, we could potentially build a scary unit, especially on the defensive line. I'm going to go ahead and actually upgrade this Sam Adams because I've been doing some of the sets. Oh, wait, I can't do it because I don't have enough training. So I guess I'll have to do that after. But I don't want to end the video there. And we do have a daily gold plus player. So we might as well just open up this pack. But we don't. We do get a 74 overall James Pierre. Who honestly, this dude looks this looks like JPP. This is literally JPP. His picture is on this guy's. Because I mean, JPP is not playing corner, but whatever. So again, if we come back to the team and take a look at it. We do actually have all three cornerbacks filled out right now. But look at this defensive line. This is where I want to really build my team. In the trenches. But this video was just me opening up these packs showing you the team at the beginning now tomorrow you will see a pack opening that i'm going to do it's not going to be called mutt ventures episode 2 because it's just going to be a pack opening however it's going to tie into this series but again how this series works it's just really simple it's just me playing madden ultimate team and building my team and you guys watching me do it and experience it for like fun of the first times since i stopped playing in madden 25 i'm probably going to do like two seasons of this and then we will be on to a new series but again, nothing really happened in this one. I just wanted you guys to meet the team and get to watch me open up those pre-order packs. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait until the next video because it's a pack opening. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Consider subscribing and also drop a like. I'd appreciate both of those things. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.